antioxidants and anti-inflammatory are two words I hear your host and dietitian Firma kept saying when she spoke about ginger in jewels in the kitchen. Also, Dr. Yegbe, a renowned urologist, spoke about prostate diseases in our conversation with the specialist. In this week in medicine, we go to the 15th and 16th century where history was made in medicine. This is Vodafone Healthline, spin-off edition. Data Ebony Day Star Seven Zero Zero Hash. B O Y Ball Taxi Ama is going home further together. You can be part of a greater data world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services in Ghana, you can now dream bigger, explore wider, go further, get more for less with Vodafone data. We can do anything we put our mind to. Vodafone. Further. Together. I'm sure you remember what antioxidants and anti-inflammatories are and how ginger helps with digestion. Welcome to Jewels in the Kitchen and may you be able to once a year Ginger Ginger is the first time to be able to get the to be Bonim <laughs> I think I do so well, we are in the nausea, vomiting, what type of thing, manner, so many of us are normal for fear of and I saw many of us so normal, yes. So, ginger helps with that as well. It actually also helps people with um, osteoarthritis because it's anti inflammatory and it's soothing pain. It suits a lot of pain. So, you want to take ginger for that. It can help with weight loss. You've seen a lot in the weight loss and um, mixtures that's going on on social media. It's true. There are certain things in India that can help with weight loss. But because in the media, she will be to know. It's not just that. But I have to work at that. I can't Change that so you are there. I work with what they call the sleep demon. And do all normal cholesterol, cholesterol, and I send the fat to rise cholesterol. No more do not take my fat. Fat, fat, no more than you. And for you, today your local hospital, you have to be people who are showing And what people are not saying, but so they are not problem. No, it's me. Boy, money balance. Then mom, now he can do any year. No, now he should be the baby. So now, and so when you say ya, now say you expecting it. It can cause can too much of it can cause miscarriage. You want to be careful about that. Almost so, I'm afraid to go for clotting. Moja brought in your mom. You want to be careful taking too much ginger because it can reverse the effect of the medication. And so that's all I have for you today on Jewels in the Fish. Dr. Yegbe can somehow offer your prostate no or the chair him. And how do you make sure the prostate in Uncle How him? Yinkete Mokin. When it comes to prostate, there's so much on it on the media. Whether billboards or TV, radio, it's everywhere. My personal concern is that is it for real? Well, 
No more way, dear, and to the beer brew, I drink in tears. Yes, into near this specialist beer bar has you. Would you remember I told you about Tata Shifono Bakoaha? He is a renowned urologist, a renowned surgeon, a naval captain, and the surprising thing, he speaks Russian too. Let's meet Dr. Paul Yegbe. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you very much, Prima. Dr. Yegbe, hey, please do say hello in Russian. We are curious. Privet. Sorry? Privet. Privet. Did I say it well? You said it well. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you very much. I won't say the languages is my thing. Good. But, Doc, what is prostate? Uh, prostate is an organ which is part of the male genitalia system. Only male? In Only Mankwan. male has prostate. Okay. okay. Now, what, what is it? Mm -hmm. Why is it situated? Mm -hmm. And what is its function? Exactly. Now, when we look at this, this one, this is where urine collects. Mm. The tubes that brings in the urine from the body are not shown. Mm -hmm. But below it, the dark structure here is what is called the prostate. Doctor, where is the prostate? This is the prostate, as in the, the model here. Anna, where is the bladder? This is the bladder, okay. which collects urine, keep it, and push it out when the appropriate time comes. Mm -hmm. Now, we might want to say what is the function of it. The function, the only function that the prostate has is to nourish or keep the sperm or the sperm that men produce mm -hmm. to be healthy, to move properly to where it's supposed to go and fertilize for uh, procreation. Some people are saying mm -hmm. that as the man is growing or as the boy is growing, every year be a na prostate, no. It's so big that you can't even wee wee. Is yes, it true? It's true. Hey. The special thing about the prostate is that it is the only organ in the human body that grows until the day you die before it will stop growing. Okay. What, what is there to do that? As we already said, we all agree that it is only men who have prostate. Mm -hmm. And it is only men who have testosterone or the sec secretion of water produced by the testes to make us men. Okay. And unfortunately, or fortunately, the prostate enlargement of whatever depends on the secretion by the testes. Okay. Now, talking about the enlargement, mm -hmm. let's get a picture of it. Okay. Now, as we said, here it is. And we know the urine, when the bladder is full, the urine must come out. Now, there should be a tube here, which you drain the urine mm. and come out when it is full. Now, we can, at this stage, we can compare the prostate to an orange. We have an outer peel, the white inner one, the flesh, then, in the middle, we have a stalk. It means that any time the fleshy part or any part of the prostate increases in size, it will put pressure on the stalk in, in the this middle. case, in the middle, which is our tube or the urethra where urine is supposed to pass. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have this picture in mind, there should not be problem with understanding the diseases of the prostate. See, doctor, when it's gotten so big, how do you treat it? Do you put another tube inside? Now, if it is big, there are various aspects of it. Now, the outer peel, which we see of the orange, in, for this matter, we call it peripheral zone, or the outer zone. Then we have another inner zone, we call central zone. Then the fleshy part, the one we eat, we can call it um, the one closer to the tube. Okay. Now, depending on the disease at the time, mm. a, one zone might be large or get disease. Okay. Now, if it is a urine problem, mm -hmm. 
the, it is the fleshy part of the, the orange we are talking about that will enlarge and compress the tube. Mm. But the compression is not all of a sudden. Mm. Before the, the urine stop, and we say that, oh, we have to put a rubber there to drain the urine for you, a lot of things would have, would have happened, mm. which we call lower urinary tract symptoms. Mm. My sign is not of enlargement. In any so we are going to com compress all of them together. Yes. Now, as we have said, now if a tube is passing through a middle of something and the thing is becoming big, it will block. Mm. The function will change somehow. Mm. So it means that when the time comes for you to go and urinate, mm. the free flow that God has arranged mm -hmm. for you to have mm. might not be there. Okay. So if it is narrowed mm -hmm. and you go to the loo, mm. you bring the penis out, mm. you want to wee wee, mm -hmm. you will wait small because by the arrangement of God, it is the bladder to push out the urine comes from the brain. It's not any special action, okay. everything by the brain. But because there is a narrowing and the pathway is no more smooth or clear, you might wait that, oh, why is it not coming? Then you say, oh, you press, you is use it? your abdominal wall to press on the bladder now to see if it will come. Uh -huh. Then it will start coming. Okay. Then it will flow. Uh, and you will forget again that, no, uh, it is not the abdomen that God has arranged that you should use to urinate. Mm. Then when you stop using the abdomen, then the urine will stop. Okay. Then you will press again. Then it will start Wait. till Wait. you finish. So it's as if you are doing stomach exercise. Stomach exercise to push. T to wee wee. To wee wee. Hey. And sometimes, some patients tell me they have to use their hand to press it. Mm. So now, from what I have discussed, we have two of the symptoms already. Mm. First, we call it delay. You mm. go, you wait for some time before it before comes. It will come. Then another one, we call it intermittency. That is, the urine is breaking mm -hmm. before you finish. Mm -hmm. And using the abdominal wall to press on it alone, it's, we call it, you are putting strain on it. Mm -hmm. You are straining for the urine to come. Mm. Then another one is because the bladder is no more performing the real function of bringing the urine out, the urine sometimes, you will be there, then you use the abdomen, it's not coming, you use hand, it's not coming. Mm. Then you say, okay, if that is it, it's okay. But you have a feeling that no, there is something still there, remaining. There is some. Try. So you go and sit down. Then after one hour, one and a half hours, you say you want to come again. And dog, those people who accidentally weave you on themselves, is it part of it? And that's the other part of uh -huh. <laughs> So as the urine remains, it's an old thing. It will become infected. Mm. Then the inner walls or the inside of the bladder sometimes will get infected. Mm. Now, if it gets infected, what it will mean is that a little amount of urine that is there, it wants to push it out. So you are in traffic. You feel like we will. Mm. You have the edge. It's so strong mm. that if you don't run out now, it will pour on you. Mm. And if you joke, it will pour on you. <laughs> then another issue is that because the there is infection, mm -hmm. you might have pain sometimes when you are urinating. Okay. Okay, doc. And it will be a person China. So the whole thing here, the picture you are seeing, mm -hmm. it is the bladder. Okay. Below it here is the prostate. Okay. Then the penis mm -hmm. and the tract through which urine should flow. Okay. Now because urine has been collecting for a long time, mm -hmm. you could see that there are holes created in the bladder, like mm -hmm. this one, this one, this one. So it's not normal? It's not normal. Then the round, round things that you see mm -hmm. are the bladder stones, which are created because oh. of the long stay of... The, the round, white, white The things. white, white ones. So the top, those things are the top. So you could see that this projection on the, the left side, mm -hmm. It's what we call diverticulum, mm. bladder diverticulum. Mm. It has formed outside the bladder so that when the urine like, comes, like you push. Like a small push, balloon. Yes. Then some will go there. When the urine finish, then this one will come, come again. Back. So you could see that constantly 
there is infected mm. urine and it's a problem. So this is the enlargement. The enlargement problem. Now, one other thing I want to say about the enlargement is that because the bladder is like this, it has lost its function. Mm. It doesn't know whether the urine now is plenty or not. But the serious thing that is happening is that here, at the top there, is what we call the kidney, mm. the one that produces the urine. Now, at this stage, urine will be moving back, flowing back into the kidney. Okay. And not long, the kidney function will not be there again. Mm. And dialysis is what is going to be so the issue. It can lead to kidney, kidney failure. failure, and it is a very serious problem. Mm. So as early as possible, the signs and symptoms we have discussed, mm -hmm. when they appear, mm -hmm. people should run to the hospital. Okay. Okay, I think that's that is yes. Another important thing that I want to say mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. most Ghanaians mm -hmm. say they do yearly tests. Okay. They go and just do the blood test of the prostate, mm. not thinking about the feel the feeling. But what we want to know before we say that there is cancer is that one, when I put my hand there and I have the feeling that there is cancer, I will add the test to it. Mm. Even if the test is low, I will still go ahead and make sure that the pieces of the, the prostate okay. tissue is looked at. Okay. Now, if even I say that, oh, no, I don't think that there is no cancer there, but you go and do the test, and the test come to be high, you will still go, and the pieces of the prostate will be taken and looked at. Treatment. Is it simple, straightforward, The treatment for prostate cancer, it is not simple. So what most of us do, when you come to the clinic, we know that there is prostate cancer, is to tell you, we'll tell you all the treatment that are available. And you yourself, you choose it. Mm. We'll choose for you. Mm. So that tomorrow, you say that, doctor, you, but you understand. Mm. Uh -huh. So one, if depending on the spread or the stage of the prostate disease, we can remove the whole prostate. We will cut all off. We call it radical prostatectomy. You remove everything, the prostate, the tubes, and everything that is attached to it, and you close back. That is one. Or we can send you to what we call radiation therapy. The radiation therapy, there are two types. We call another one external beam radiation, where the X-ray radiation is put on the prostate to kill the cancer cells. It has its own complications. Or if the stage is not too advanced, we also do another one we call brachytherapy. Radiation seed, we call gold seeds, are implanted into the prostate to kill the prostate, the cancer cell, slowly and finally they go. Will it be cured? Will be cured. Okay. But if at the time of staging the disease, we realize that, oh, the disease has gone far, it has gone out of the prostate shell, we will do what we call total androgen block. Earlier on, Look, and that's what I'm going to explain. Mm -hmm. that earlier on, we said that it is only men who have prostate mm -hmm. because they have testosterone. Yes. And the, prost the prostate feeds on what? On the testosterone. Mm -hmm. So now, we will chemically castrate you oh. so that the testosterone is no more there. And where the disease has spread to, it will remain there. Or some will go back. No, go castrate you. Now, yeah, so the castration, it could be, will give you tablets uh -huh. so that the testes will just be hanging there. It's not doing any work. Or we will take you to theater. Within five minutes, we will remove the two testes. Now, sometimes people come to the hospital, they agree that remove the testes. They say, oh, can't you leave one? No, when you leave one, it will produce. It and you have to be, remove everything. Nothing testi testicular tissue should be present. What? And all these, mm -hmm. they are just like, the prostate cancer is a very bad disease. Indeed. With time, it will find another way mm. of spreading. Mm. So the issue is that we should not reach those states. We want to say thank you very much to Dr. Poyagbe for spending so much time with us on Vodafone Healthline. We are grateful and it was free. Oh. It was free. Easy, but we'll go for everything.
Recorded to data, Ebony Day, star 700 hash. B O Y Boy Taxi Ama is going home further together. Afedie, who's about to be in your Kenya strong co? Ah, yeah, need to hear power Vodafone so. Yeah, the data bundle sir. Any says what Ghana have, bro. Yeah, more than yes so. Yeah, need that swan you now, baby. Anything back here, huh? Your data more need to power, baby. We can do anything we put our mind to. Vodafone, further together. The Uncommon segment this week in medicine, where we talk about some memorable events in the history of medicine, delving into transplant surgery. Hello, once again. Today, in this week in medicine, we talk about the first successful penile and scrotum transplants. Not just the penis, the penis and the scrotum. Before I tell you about that, I'll give you a historical overview of transplant surgery, where we came from and where we are. In the 16th century, Italian surgeon Gaspero Tagliacozzi, sometimes referred to as the father of plastic surgery, reconstructed noses and ears using skin from the forearms of patients. In 1905, Edward Zerm, an Australian ophthalmologist, performed the world's first corneal transplant. 1912 saw Alexis Carrel receive a Nobel Prize for his work in developing methods for connecting blood vessels and conducting the first kidney transplant in dogs. He went on, together with his friend Charles Lindbergh, to invent a device for keeping organs viable outside the body. In 1954, a team of doctors in Boston, the Peter Bent Brigham Hospital, performed the first successful human kidney transplant between twin brothers. Since then, several advances in transplant surgery has allowed several organs to be transplanted, with more advances in the transplant field ongoing. The first successful penis and scrotum transplant was performed in 2018 by a group of surgeons at the John Hopkins Hospital. The patient was a veteran that suffered a blast injury at war in Afghanistan. It took 14 hours to complete. Um, I hear someone asking me a question. What about the testes? Were they transplanted? No, they weren't. This is all we have for this week in medicine. And the person here can offer um, surgery what you offer Ebia, nimpa nanka sa no honam fi one side, what about another side? And off will be no honam and na no body part. Would if fi nimpa kro no them another person? I often transplant surgery. Chede transplanting was starti a chair. Doctor says sooner while comb why ye wa try but nan saying Namina dum. The field of transplant surgery, why ye more convenient? Many more people walking a kidney transplant, lung transplant, heart transplant, than yamiasi. That's all we have for this week. Indeed, transplant surgery has gone through many phases to make the lives of people better. Yeah, transplant akuma, yeah, transplant kidneys, yeah, transplant even intestines. What makes this men could not be left out.
Tele Todeta Ebony Day Star 700 Hash. B O Y Ball. Taxi. Ama is going home further together. You can be part of a greater data world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services in Ghana, you can now dream bigger, explore wider, go further, get more for less with Vodafone data. We can do anything we put our mind to. Vodafone. Further. Together. Mamma Moon, in the Mankasa Michina at Chimota Golf Club, I am meeting the moon poem Kakra. Especially when you are past the age of 40, make sure you inculcate a regular exercising culture such that you keep the joints and bones healthy. We hope the wiki at the Yashen has helped all of us to keep healthy. Till we meet again, see you next week.